coming! Just as it was foreseen, the seafaring adventurers have traveled from near and far, over great distances and obstacles, to express themselves as they truly are. Men and women, young and old, long-time friends, friends yet unknown, creatures of all walks of life, with a common interest, a big from the north. Whether they be land lovers or sea dogs, shark bait or sharks themselves, they are here. They are outlaws. They are devils. They are pirates. It all makes sense now. All but one thing. I ask you for an answer, but I still see nothing. What on earth does far mean? F W A. Is it a color of art and culture? Or rather, a black market? A place to buy debt which could otherwise not be found? Is it a governing armada? The enforcer of the rules? Or is it the treasure of a lifetime? A priceless experience beyond compare. And there it is. F. W. A. It's. It's. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you enjoying F. W. A. 2019? Ooh. I am glad to hear that you are all having a great time on this. My island of paradise. Now, how goes the hunt for that treasure? Oh, no, 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 no. Did you enjoy heading that class? Or am I really getting the impression that some of you have forgotten about the treasure of FWA and the map of Captain Godfrey? Let's bring out one of the leaders of FWA to help me explain. I do uh, want to acknowledge the um, uh, video team as well. Man, there's a lot of great people that put in a lot of hours, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of bad acting. It's all there. So, uh, man, so uh, the hotel. Uh, I guess we got some slides of the map, but uh, the room uh, sizes. Have you guys checked out the board game room? It's giant and it's actually going to get bigger we're actually got a little storage area to the side but it's going to get better bigger uh the video game room did you guys check that out yet <laughs> it's it's going to be amazing all all week long um so i got a note here the escape room did change location so there is a fee for that you got to sign up and uh, pay online and, um but that is moved from the old spot to i don't know how to describe it uh, it's on marquee level, um, back in the corner. So you'll find it. I think it's the M100. Hopefully I'm correct. Yes, yes I think that's correct. <laughs> um, and poker this year. If you guys are interested in poker, man, it's got its own room this year. So that should be pretty amazing. Yeah, so the guys, those guys are in the poker comp. Um, and con ops. Um, that, that's, that's in the old escape room area. So if you guys have a, any lost and found, if you drop something, you can't find it. Um, hopefully you didn't drop your badge, but at any rate, uh, <laughs> you can go down there and uh, talk to them, and they'll help, they'll help you as much as they can. Yeah, so uh, a couple of quick announcements for more safety concerns. Um, if you have a tail that is dragging the ground, please pick it up as you jump on the escalators. Uh, we had one tail get stuck. It was an unfortunate tail sticking <laughs> accident. Um, and we don't want that to happen. First, of course, it shuts down the escalator while they fix it. Second, your poor tail gets destroyed. Right. So be mindful, pick no them up no as you No clapping for that, down. that's awful. <laughs> Glad it wasn't your tail. Yeah, right? Um, the other are the elevators. So as you're filling onto elevators, please do not overfill them. What tends to happen is people get kind of in there and they get cramped and they're leaning back against the doors. Um, it's not intentional, but what it does is it jars the doors and then they get stuck and then we have to have an elevator crew come out to fix it. 
So we had two elevators go down because of that. So the hotel's asking for a little bit of awareness there. They've already got someone out here to fix them. So that's great. And they're really trying to support us there. But just be mindful of it. Um, we, oh, I'm not done. Hey, I got more safety. Safety third, you know. Safety first. You were so close. Wh whatever. So close. Um, a reminder to everyone, we have a huge open atrium, 47 floors up. Please do not drop anything. The hotel is really serious about this. Um, they will have a very unpleasant conversation with you, and it could genuinely hurt someone. P so please, again, be mindful of that. Um, elevator etiquette. Um, we do have people helping to mind the elevators. Just be aware everyone wants to get up to the rooms. Please don't push up to go down. Don't push down to go up, and we will get through this relatively reasonably. We do have almost 100% occupancy in the hotel. There are still a few people from the other group here. Please you know, be mindful of that tonight and try to be courteous to them as well. Um, the RFID bracelet. So we learned a lot last year. Uh, and so we have increased the range huge amount to the point where for most of us, they will even read through your wrist. Um, so we have new, new bands, we have new readers, they should work fine. If you are having a challenge, let us know. We will help you fix it. We want this to be easy on you and be a really good experience. So, you know, let us know and we'll make sure it's great. A couple of new things this year. I heard you guys clap for the video game room. Who has seen the uh, Tokyo Attack section? Three truckloads of Japanese cabinets. I mean, like, you never see these things outside of Japan unless, I guess, it's Tokyo Attack. So please uh, go down and utilize that. We want that to be something that you get to spend some time with. Uh, and I'm sure most of you may have heard that Saturday night we have something called Mystery Skulls, yeah? Yeah. So pretty amazing. Um, the team for Mystery Skulls, Lou and Snowblood, are both really genuinely excited to be here. Not just to be playing, but to be playing at a furry convention. Super excited about it. Let's make sure when they're here we give them a huge welcome. I know they are genuinely stoked. They've already picked out personas. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So uh, our first, you know, well-known converts, I believe. Um, we have a full night of programming Sunday night, so if you're around, please keep in mind we have dances, I think, till 2 or 3 in the morning, um, and we do have the pirate ball. Um, it's not like mandatory dress code or anything, although I know many people will dress up in tuxedos and gowns and things like that. Shorts and flip-flops are perfectly fine, too. Uh, make sure you check that out. It should be great. We have some great food and um, a lot of great music going through the night. Um, last, uh, on my side for this, the pirate troop. We have some roaming pirates. Uh, they are actors that are here to entertain you. Um, they're very good. They do this at Renaissance festivals and uh, shows around the U.S. Um, enjoy them. They'll be around throughout the next day or two. Man, so. Some of their songs were really great. Did you guys hear them at all? Yeah, yeah they, were, they were great. Um, awesome. So uh, you guys know about the app, app.furryweekend.com. If you're not, uh, if it, you can go on that on your mobile device, and then that'll access to you, uh, download it, whatever. Look at it you're on your computer. Um, Volunteering, man, uh, you know, this is something kind of near and dear to my heart because this is how I started in this organization. <laughs> the volunteers. Yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, no, no. The volunteers are uh, really seriously important to this organization. And to get this stuff going up here, I can't tell you how many people were involved in just this room alone. While you guys were standing in line, there was people hustling up here, and it really was amazing. Um, so we really do depend on our volunteers. It really is an awesome experience. It's a great way to meet people. Like I said, that's how I got started in the organization and this awesome convention back when it wasn't as big. <laughs> you know? It's awesome. But at any rate, the uh, volunteer desk, it is down two floors on the marquee level. There's a little registration booth off kind of towards the back. Uh, and that's where you go to sign up for reg uh, volunteering. And they do have different prizes. You work so many hours. They do track your hours that you work. So you can work to get a free T-shirt, a free hoodie, uh, any, a free membership for next year. Uh, we do have a lot of people that work for the free membership next year, and they're like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, uh, but, but it's amazing. There's a lot of people that don't want to be necessarily staff, but just love volunteering. Food. 
How many guys know the food options around here, man? There's so many. The food court over here, uh, and I want to, I want to. You can. Yeah. You can. So if you guys haven't eaten at Panberry's over in the mall, if you don't, yeah, yeah, absolutely give it up. And we'll, yeah, so you need to go check that out. It, 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 it's amazing. It's all, it's all good. We haven't had a bad one yet, right? No. So it, it really is good. But there's a lot of great food vendors over there. And of course, there's uh, Sear Restaurant and High Velocity. Those are great. Um, also, we've had some, I'm going to just mention the drinks. Yeah. They're amazing, yeah. man. The, the hotel. Go ahead. You talk about them. One of our staff members spent some time mixing, doing a little mixology for the drinks on the yeah. menu in High Velocity. So not only do they have really cute names, they're really good. They're, uh, they're, they're amazing. They were amazing last year. And once again, they've outdone themselves. So Absolutely. Um, for those that have been here before, we'd like to welcome back Conservator Center uh, as our charity. If you have not met them yet. That's right. I give it up. Yeah. Right here in the front. Are you there? I, is that Mindy? That's, I see Mindy. Yeah, it's it's Doug. Doug. Stand up. Go ahead. Yeah, you might stand as well. up. Give a bow. Yeah. Uh, Mindy and Doug um, and the rest of the Conservator Center crew, um, they've been with us for many years. Uh, please go down and talk to them. See what your dollars are doing for them. Last year, we raised $50,000 for them. We want to top that do much more this year and see what that's doing for them and what that's doing for their organization and for the animals. It's really amazing. Um, they really uh, tell a good tale, Doug especially, watch out for that one. Um, but worth your time to see them and they are on marquee level, correct? I'm s yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, GOHs, we have two in the room. I'm guessing you're on my stage left. Yes, you, if you would like to stand up, Kara and Sean Chiplot. So they have a couple of panels throughout the convention. Uh, find them on your schedule. You can either see that at the panel section or on the app. Um, but there's a chance to meet them, maybe get a signature, um, find out about how they do their craft and what they do. FWA Quest. Dash talked about FWA Quest a little bit. Um, we're going to keep this going each year. We're going to continue to add more features to that. But that is available at game.furryweekend.com. There are some really great prizes this year. You don't have to spend hours working on it. You know, spend a couple minutes, play with it. You want to do more, um, that's fine. Some of the prizes are like a God level um, super sponsor membership. Um, we're doing a little bit of a pirate treasure. You'll have to wait for closing ceremonies to see what that is. Um, and we also have hidden some daily prizes, uh, silver coins. So everyone got a coin when they registered, right? Yeah. So those are really cool, but these are actually silver, like real silver. So yeah, so if you see one of those pop up on the app or with the game, it's worth your time to try to find that. Of course, we aren't so silly as to hide the silver coin out there. You'll actually find a piece you can bring back to the game center at uh, volunteering and trade it for a silver coin. Uh, and a reminder they've placed on my card here, please don't take uh, the FWA Quest assets, the things that you're meant to scan. Just scan them and leave them for the other players to find. Uh, it, it's really not competitive at that level, and we want everyone to be able to have a great time with that. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, maybe just one more time mention Mystery Skulls. Did we talk about that? I, no, 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 no. There's like a thousand of you out there. I want to... I want to hear this room. <laughs> you guys aren't nearly excited enough. You guys are on vacation. You've come to this city to see FWA, this amazing convention that we've put on for you. You've come here to see Mystery Skulls. I want to hear it for Mystery Skulls. Yeah. You do that for him, and man, he will lose his mind. He will be so ecstatic. Yeah. Um, one more reminder, I think I covered it, but in case I didn't, uh, the Meet the GOH panel is tomorrow. It should be on your schedule. Um, I think the Oracle, the Oracle is here. He's going to properly send everyone on their merry way. Have a great evening, Oracle. As you can see, there's truly a grand prize to be won. However, do not, do not be, be discouraged. discouraged. For well, there, there are, are many, many treasures, treasures to be found, found on, on this island. island. From, From the bustling commerce of the market, market to the masterful, masterful works of Otis Allen. 
to the amazing Sunday more. The possibilities are endless. Now, go out there and find a treasure of your own.